Shima girls. I hope you ladies are having a good time here on Shima Hero 21 as usual. I'm back with another awesome, educational, inspiring video for you ladies. And well, this particular video, I'm going to help you ladies recover from a setback, you know. And one of these setbacks is recovering from an unwanted haircut. You know, and with that said, as black women, we go through so much, you know, whether it be, you know, with our skin color, whether it be with our own men, whether it be with the kids, you know, with the job and all that stuff. It, it's basically safe to say that quite a few things can piss us off due to all this stress that we're under. You know, if, if we don't know how to handle this stress, that's why I'm making this video to help us ladies handle the stress. And one of these stresses, again, is recovering from an unwanted haircut. Because basically, that's one more thing that can totally piss us off. And that is getting our hair chopped off by some jealous, miseducated, scissor-happy hairstylist, friend, so-called friend, or family member. And you know, well, that is very hurtful for the simple fact that, you know, especially if we're a newbie at the proper way to care for our own hair, and you know somebody just chops off our hair and we we're right back to square one it, it, it really stings and a lot of us have gone into a deep depression over that and well I'm here to keep you ladies inspired if you, if you have gone through that or if you're going through that right now and what I did with this video is compile some of my most favorite inspirational quotes and I'm going to share this inspirational quotes with you ladies right about now so let's begin Experience is not what happens to you, it is what you do with what happens to you. Okay, now what does this mean? Basically, your traumatic experience should now encourage you to trim your own hair. Okay, I'm sure that many of you ladies are already, are already very familiar with my video, Shima says, trim your own hair. Okay, it has gotten quite a few hits on it, quite a few, you know, um, comments are posted on there re regarding your own personal traumatic experiences when somebody chopped off more than you asked for. You know, we're asking for a trim and they chop off more. And, and, and the reason why they're chopping off more is because, uh, unfortunately, nine times out of ten, they're pretty jealous that, you know, a woman of color, you know, is trying to grow her hair longer. Remember, when we're trying to grow our hair longer and we're actually achieving that goal, it's not natural to society, okay? And, and unfortunately, our own kind is pretty jealous that when our hair is starting to grow longer than their hair, okay? They want you to stay at a certain point, at a certain comfortable, stereotypical point, okay? And that is anything, you know, above, sh above shoulder length, not below shoulder length. Okay, this this will you know give them a heart attack. Okay, so they don't want to see that. They they'll rather chop chop and and you on their same level. Okay, that that's unfortunately what we we're dealing with here. Okay, all right. So again, that traumatic experience should definitely encourage you to start trimming your own hair. And, and as a matter of fact, that's actually one of my tutorials in my Shima Hair Wash Day DVD: How to Trim Your Own Hair. So I hope you ladies have seen this DVD by now and are in position of this DVD so that you ladies can learn how to trim your own hair and not put your hair in somebody, you know, the destiny of your hair is in some jealous, miseducated and, you know, some hater that doesn't want you to look better than them, okay? Because, you know, longer hair to them means that you're going to look better than them, all right? But, and that's not the case. You just want to look better for yourself or you want to feel good for yourself, okay? All right, let's go to the next inspirational quote. Whenever you feel like giving up, remember why you held on for so long in the first place. For example, some of us want to show the world that yes, black hair can grow to fairy to mythical hair lengths, while some of us just want our hair to finally be healthy once and for all. Whatever it was that first gave you the inspiration to even get started, 
on your goal, on your journey, you know, to healthy, longer hair, remember that and hold on to that. All right? And that actually applies to other goals in your life as well. Remember why you, you even wanted to get started on that particular goal. Who inspired you? What inspired you? You know, what event did your life inspire you to even get started on that particular goal? Here's another one. When you come to the end of your rope, tie a knot and hold on tight. <laughs> okay? Hold on as tight as you can, Shima girls. Because it does not matter how many say it can be done. It does not matter how many people have tried it before. What's important is that you realize that whatever you're going to do is going to be your first attempt at it. Yours, not theirs, but yours. Okay? Your first attempt at it. So what if they tried it and they failed? And you know the reason why they failed? They failed because they gave up. That's why they failed. But you won't give up. Okay? You will not give up. And that is why you're going to make it. A word of encouragement during a setback is worth more than a thousand words of encouragement after success. What does this mean? Well, because after you succeed, you already went through the struggle and the so-called failures. But what about when you are still in the middle of a, a, a so-called failure? What about when you're still in the middle of a struggle? What about when you're still in the middle of, of, the, of this setback? Wouldn't just one word of encouragement feel a thousand times better at that particular moment? Okay, when you're struggling, when, when you're feeling depressed, when, when you're crying, you know? Wouldn't, wouldn't just one single word of encouragement feel ten times better at that particular moment when your heart is just totally crushed? Okay, so that word of encouragement during your setback, what it's, what it's going to do is going to help lift your spirits, Shima girls. It's going to help lift up your spirits, to help boost your self-esteem, and inspire you to get up again and continue your journey to success. So, if you are in the middle of one of these so-called failures, so-called failures, which is just a setback, I have three words for you. Don't give up. Don't give up. Shima girls never give up, no matter what. I always remember that, ladies. Shima girls never give up, no matter what, and we fight to the end until we achieve our goals. And that's the attitude I want you ladies to have, okay? All right, nobody's going to take away your dreams, nobody's going to take away your goals, and nobody's going to crush your heart anymore. All right, you're going to fight to the end until you achieve your goals no matter what. Okay, Shima Girls, I hope you enjoyed and felt inspired by this video. And as I was talking, I, I inspired myself, as you can see. So, you know, this is, you know, this inspires me as well to keep going and to keep helping you ladies achieve your goals. All right. So, again, have a great day, Shima Girls, and I'll see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.